Hi everybody, new Wednesday, new room. <laughs> Every time I see my do one of these videos, I uh, move my camera somewhere, but I've decided that at this point in the day, and at this time, this room has the best lighting to show you guys uh, one of these unboxing videos. So I went back and counted, and I have seven boxes left to unbox. Um, almost all of them, I think minus one, are salt and pepper shakers. One is not exactly a mystery box, but slightly. I ended up on a, a live auction on YouTube and got a big box of Cub Scout and Boy Scout memorabilia. So that's going to be exciting to go through, so look forward to that coming up. As for my almost two week hiatus, um, that was accidental. I said I would see you guys either on Wednesday or Friday and then the weather in Michigan where I'm at has turned absolutely beautiful. So I know you can't see it right now and you may have seen it in a video before this. If not, you'll see it in a video after this. But that garden out there has been taking all of my time. So hopefully I can get you guys to that video uh, soon if you haven't seen it already. But for now, let's dive right in because this is what you're here for is the rest of this box that we did almost now a month ago. So here's what's left of it. Let's hope nothing else is broke. If you haven't seen the first one, just go back to my last unboxing video and you'll see that we found a couple of broken things in there. But that's to be expected when you buy uh, ceramics of this size and this capacity. Also, that's a brand new coffee cup. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> All right, let's see. I have the singles over here off to the side. I'm not quite sure if you can see those. Uh, but these are the singles that we pulled out from the last time we were doing this. So we're still looking for some matches. And actually, I'm going to go grab the trash can. All right. All right, I see some orange. Ooh, lots of, lots of chipping. All right, so as I can see, lots of chipping. I do like this orange color. No markings on the bottom that I can see, but it does have a stopper. This is what it looks like. Cute little tea kettle, but yeah, it does has quite a bit of chipping. So it's probably lost some of its uh, value, but it is intact, it is not cracked or broke. Also, it's not always, here's a little bit of information, it's not always best to gauge your salt and pepper shakers based on their stoppers because some people do replace stoppers if one goes missing or gets broken. Here's one. Oh, look at this. It's a boot from Knott's Berry Farm. It has a plastic stopper, but like I said, you can't really test the age from that. It is unglazed on the bottom. And does have some crazy issues. Hopefully you can see that. But all in all intact. I think this is the other boot. Let's see. Oh, it's a boot, but it's a different boot. South Dakota Mount Rushmore. So unglazed on the bottom. No year. That's cute. Let's see. Oh, do we have this one? Las Vegas. Nope. Hey, I got a Las Vegas shirt on right now. What are the chances of that? I'm going to assume that is some sort of native flower to uh, Nevada. Let's see Las Vegas. Oh, it does have some crazy right on the top. Plastic stopper. No markings. Oh, are you wood? Yep, that's wood. Just has a vest painted on it with a silver cap. What it is wood and it looks like it has been used there is a ton of salt inside <laughs> so that will have to be cleaned out so far no broken oh look this one's in tissue paper well, those are cute oh cracked I'm gonna assume that this was like this when it got shipped but that's okay We'll just disclose it in the listing, but here are those. They are very small. Oh, look at that. It's a cute little squirrel with a bow. She is missing her foot and her stopper. Oh, and all of her fingers. <laughs> um, it's times that when I get ones like like this, I wonder, is it worth it to even list it? Because it's so busted. 
But then I feel bad just throwing it away, one, because I paid for it, but two, because, you know, we might never come across, you know, this thing ever again, and I just threw away the last one. Chances are it's not the case, but that's how I feel about it. Ooh. Now, this one does have a sticker, Inesco Japan. I have sold Inesco before. They sell pretty well for me. I do look for that kind of red tag um, when looking for these. It does have its stopper. Is that a rose or a tulip? I want to say it's a rose. Oh, is this the matching one? It is. We have our second match of the video. This is at Las Vegas. There's the top. Top also has some crazing. So if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say crazing, I'm not really sure it's picking it up well, but there are little lines. And basically that is the ceramic cracking underneath the glaze. The glaze is still intact, uh, but it is underneath it. Let's see right there, which I always like the way it looks. I think it looks pretty neat, but yeah, to each their own, I suppose. I haven't seen this one yet. Oh, that's weird looking. Kind of Art Deco cork bottom. Hmm, I wonder what the other one's gonna look like. It almost looks like one of those olive oil uh, dispensers. This is also not a match. Random letters. So it says sauces, casseroles. Oh, I held it down too far. Sauces, casseroles, vegetables. And then it's got a silver plastic top and this is ceramic um no stopper on the bottom so it is a screw top mm, doesn't look like it's been used before thank goodness i've never seen one like this but oh look at that little chicken on there i love chickens that is ceramic of course it would be chipped so it's a cute little angel fish looks like it's meant to look like wood staining but it is ceramic it is chipped just underneath it here it does have a rubber stopper but yeah, when it's sitting, you can't see that chip. So that's good. But ultimately, like always, it will be disclosed. And it looks like it was also chipped here and then someone colored it in with either stain or Sharpie. Oh, but it does have a P on it for pepper. Very 70s looking. Housewares. Fedoral housewares. Looks very 70s to me with that with that coral plastic top. Is glass. No stopper. It is a screw top. Now when it comes to salt, salt and pepper shakers, my favorite ones to list and sell in photographs are the fig girl ones. Not just because they're different and, you know, Cute, but because trying to find if it doesn't have any markings on the bottom you're just looking literally looking up glass salt and pepper shaker you could type in orange top but did someone describe this as an orange top maybe they did coral maybe they did salmon maybe pink so looking for a glass one with no markings is my epitome of a bad time I don't want to do it so the more figural ones like this I prefer it's real easy to type in Knott's Berry Farm boot salt pepper shaker <laughs> that's just my tip so if you see if you get bored listing easily um i always encourage people to try to find things that are easy to find comps for glass salt and pepper shakers not it oh so this must be the match this one unless i'm wrong but those are really cute together it looks like they should be a match both are chipped pretty pretty equally uh, oh but this one does have a marking of japan oh we have a match from our last video here he is over here finally it is a mushroom set usually the mushroom sets tend to do pretty well i haven't sold one um that's just through my own uh general research however this rubber stopper looks fine and easily removable this one looks like someone melted it to the ceramic so i'm probably gonna have to chip that out because that has been melted on another match from the last video 
So in the last video I showed you that this one here had that uh, plastic top that was chipped. And this one just has a little bit of chipping on top as well. So this this falls into the category of random glass salt and pepper shaker hard to find on eBay. But it is marked Taiwan. So dang, we're just having matches all over. So this one is definitely filled with pepper because the other one that we found in the last video was definitely filled with salt. Hold please while I season this box. Here's the one from the previous video. Here's the one from today. It does say happy anniversary. And if I remember correctly, there was no uh, salt and pepper anniversary when I look, I'll have to look back to my old video and see if I still have that. E yep, that other gray one, okay. So here's that one. Still, they remind me of the like oil dispensers in the kitchen. Excuse my phone going off, I don't know. Who's that? Oh, well hello brand new set. Look at that, brand new in the plastic. Made in China, so definitely newer. I'm gonna say probably at least 10 to 15 years old, if not more. They are uh, the old style milk jugs. And it's got a cute little cow pasture on the front. I found a fish friend. Uh, any chippings? No. So this angelfish has no chips or cracks. Yep, here we go. Another South Dakota Mount Rushmore. Oh, this one does have a sticker made in Japan. It would have been nice had it had the year, like right for Mount Rushmore, like right there. It would have been nice if they would have just stamped the year on it. Oh man, ain't that some bad time. And just past Easter. That is cute. Well, it'll be up there for next time. It does have a 50 on the bottom, so I'm assuming they tried to sell it at a yard sale for 50 cents. Yep, I'm right. Hooray! Also, just hanging out over here in this corner is this little trinket tray. I don't know which one it goes to yet. I'm hoping it'll be obvious. Yep, there's the pepper. Here's the salt from earlier. They are wood. Oh, but it's missing a stopper. Oh, there's another egg, but it is chipped. Oh, here's our other squirrel friend. How ironic. He is missing his other foot. She was missing this foot. He's missing that foot. I look at him in his little straw hat. So I, I don't know if this one's going to get listed. Ooh, now this is pretty and it's heavy. Oh, yep. Sold it for a dollar. Very pretty pink job. Looks like a windmill off like the coast. with a gold painted top. So if you made it this far through my video, thank you so much. I appreciate you for being here. Oh, look at that. How weird. It's wood. This is like the epitome of this box. It's wood and it's chipped. They're all chipped. This was not marked as like a damaged box. The box itself came very sturdy um, and there haven't been like fragments throughout the box. And in the listing when I bought it, it was just was not disclosed of any of them being chipped that I could find. It does have a uh, cork bottom too, but this is all solid wood. Is that a fire hydrant? It sure is. Las Vegas fire plug. Inco Ceramics Japan. Oh, I always look for, I know I said I always look for the red, but like these red foil tags or stickers seem to indicate, um, more desirable, valuable salt and pepper shakers, at least in my opinion, from my experience. What are you? A little wood burning stove, perhaps? Whoop! Ah! So, plastic stopper. Uh, what's it say? Hong Kong plastic. Yeah. Plastic, but it's, it looks like a little wood burning stove. Cute. Never seen one like that before. Here's our match to the wooden one we just pulled out. Um, no chipping. Looks like. Good condition. Still has its bottom. 
Oh, but here's one of the bears that hangs on our broken tree that we got last video. Oh, and here's our, what I'm calling the 70s glass shaker. Another match to our windmill. I think this, it doesn't say hand painted, but it looks like it could be. Just that. Let's see, another wooden salt shaker. Does have the S painted on. Has a plastic bottom. And it's kind of interesting. It's got a flat top. Looks like they just went and shaved off the top. Oh, this is a new one. Oh, look at that top. That's pretty. This looks like it's got a bluebird on it. Um, there was some sticker that's fading. It is missing its stopper. It says MMS Club NE65-4. Here's the bluebird side of that. It is very pretty. One and we did. There's the pepper version of that with its flat top. Here's our wood burning stove match. Has a stopper, also marked Hong Kong. Oh, but this piece is broke. Just barely hanging on. All right, so it's a little, oh, sorry, I took the top off. I don't know if I left that in. So here it is with its top. It looks like an old style butter churn. It has an S on it, probably for salt. Um, it has a hole in the bottom, but it doesn't go all the way through. What are the chances of that that I knew that? So this one is an orange flower. I called the last one a rose. I still think it could be maybe a tulip, but it looks like a rose to me. There, those are together. So this one just says pepper all the way around. Yeah, it looks like this one, but I, I wonder if they go together. Ooh, this looks like one I hadn't seen yet. Oh, that's a cute one. Little amber glass, plastic top one. Almost feels like resin. No, um, it doesn't have a shaker, so you just pop this off. Oh. Yep, you just pop that off to fill it. And it looks to be in fairly good condition, surprisingly. Oh, here we go. So Hayward, Wisconsin is where the butter churns came from. It says right here, Hayward, Wisconsin. That's another little tiny one. Gold top. Plastic stopper, no markings, with a little pink flower on there. All right, here's the other one from the MMS Club with the bluebird and that filigree top. I just felt it when I go to set it down. It's chipped right here. I was just thinking these last ones were turning out better than the whole box. So one of these must be a match to somebody. Yep, yeah, here's a little pink flower that we just pulled out. Oh, and wait, didn't the last one say pepper? <laughs> so here's this one, same amber glass as this one. Now this one has a white handle and this one has a brown handle. Both have pepper tops. There's not the salt. I'm assuming this one probably was for the salt because of the white handle and this one had brown. And it's our other bear. There he is. So now we have both bears and the tree, but the tree is broken. Oh, this one's a wedge of cheese. Oh, plastic stopper intact. And it is. Also no markings, just a wedge. Here's my question. Where are the missing ones? And more importantly, where does this trinket box go to? Or trinket tray? I think it's this. But it could be. No, it can't. Its base doesn't fit on it. Well, we did it. We made it through this box. I don't know what this tray goes to. We have two singles out of this entire box. We have a nice box to start a fire with in the bonfire pit outside. And with that, I have some more inventory to give to my new assistant. With that, that's all of our unboxing for today. We are done. Um, if you have an idea of what this tray goes to, let me know. All right, but thank you for coming back. Thanks for being part of my first unboxing after my couple uh, week hiatus. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. Bye.